May have had an impulse decision and cut myself a bob. Holding this in the palm of my hand, I feel like I can tell you everything that's going on now. How often do you think about the Roman Empire? I sent off the paperwork for <gasps> today. Don't <Sorry>, my... <laughs> Coming back home and having gained a bit of weight. I want to call her my friend, but I don't think I can call her my friend. It's not funny. Huh. Good morning, campers. You know the drill, my special spicy tuna on toast. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've not been in the country at all this week, which has been amazing. But I've been desperate to come home to my tuna on toast. And this little nugget, she's on her period at the moment. I don't know if this applies to all dogs, but sausage dogs have their periods twice a year and they last a month. Mm. Oh my God. Since I've been gone, the world has kind of turned upside down. XL bullies are being banned. Thank God I've actually had a terrible experience with one in the past. <laughs> and disposable babes are gone. Not to brag, but I kind of been missed worldwide recently. I went to Marbella. I went around the south of France on a boat with Lewis and Lewis's wonderful, lovely family. His family are so much fun. I don't think I've had a trip so fun in so long. We had the best, best, best time. Mm. I was supposed to be away a couple more times this month, but I've actually just made like the conscious and sensible decision not to. They were only sort of weekend things. One thing for Kami's birthday and then one thing for Jim's birthday. I've actually got something huge coming at the end of this month. I'm just shoveling food in between sentences. I'm so hungry. Which means I need to go and post this off this morning. Take a wild guess. So I'm gonna be up to my neck. It's also the most important thing to me right now that Ida feels settled, comfortable with me through this process and just like shimmying her around is something I don't wanna do. And I think because we have spent so much time together since I got her, obviously I work from home so I'm here all the time. I really worry, you know, that she's not gonna feel good. I feel like it's shit you can't see the food even though it is literally just like some slimy ass looking tuna. Oh, and I still haven't fixed my dishwasher. I thought today I would take myself out on like a little solo day. This is basically kind of just how I live my life anyway. I spend so much time alone and actually a question I always get from you guys is like how do you feel living alone? How do you keep yourself company? How do you feel comfortable in your own company? As I said I spend five days a week I'd say like completely on my own. Honestly, having her has really helped a lot. I don't feel lonely ever, but I think I'm just like, I'm an antisocial person. I don't love like talking to people. Also, if you live in London or like you're coming to London, I just want to take you out around a few spots. It is forecast to rain for the next four hours, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to navigate that. But we're going to have a fun day regardless. I've also got a lot of things to talk to you about, clear up, address in this vlog. So if you are for some strange reason invested in my life, then stay tuned. I also got these pyjamas yesterday from the white company and I think they're so fun and I love them but as I said Ida is on her period so the poor girl has just been sat on a towel anytime she's around me. First step of a fun solo day which I can't really completely vouch for because most of the time you will find me leggings, hoodie, Uggs even in summer. Wear a nice outfit like something you're not gonna feel so dusty in. It helps me make eye contact with people when I feel like I don't look terrible. I've got this top on from Free People. My flossy ex Remask skirt. This skirt, you guys, you need it going into winter. Well, obviously, you just need it all year round. For winter, especially, just with tops like this. I also, if I want to make it a bit shorter, you can just like fold over the waistband. I like my skirts super short. And then some black loafers. I'm also probably going to put a bomber on with this because we are forecast to storm today, but I'm still going outside. I've also just put some skin makeup on and curled my eyelashes. I feel like these days I'm really preferring myself with like a lot less makeup. Is that a part of maturing? I don't know. I maybe need to try out brown mascara, but honestly, eyelash serum and curling my eyelashes is kind of all I need these days. It just makes me look a lot more fresh. When I was staying in France, I had a lot of nights out where I have no eye makeup on, which would be crazy for me. Ida, what are you wearing today? I don't know, but she's licking her pum pum. 
And I don't think she'd want that on the internet when she's older. Something else so completely irrelevant, but I was just thinking about this when I was getting dressed today, and maybe I should touch on this. This next minute of the video is in paid partnership with BetterHelp. Really quickly before I get on with the rest of this video, I want to say the biggest thank you to BetterHelp, and it's also incredibly relevant to the topic I'm going to be talking about next. I have used therapy in the past, and it has helped me beyond words. You don't even need to be diagnosed with mental health problems, have any mental health problems to go to therapy. It can be an amazing place to vent to someone you're not seeing every day in your personal life. For me, therapy was a really big escape and it was somewhere that I could just lay down all my feelings on the table, sort of have them explained to me a little bit better, be offered either comfort or advice on how to move forward. I've taken so many teachings that I learned in my younger years in therapy through with me now. On BetterHelp, you'll just take a quick survey and they will appoint you a therapist that is suited to you. You can also change your therapist at any time, completely free of charge. Therapy is a really personal thing, so it's really important that you find the right one for you and can also be done over the phone, via text, and you can contact your therapist at any time. For a lot of people who are sort of scared to go to therapy or like face-to-face, -face, this is a really amazing option for you. I've actually had so many of you guys DM me in the past and tell me that you've used my BetterHelp service. I'll have all the relevant information on screen here as well as in the description box down below as well if you want to go check it out and it just warms my heart knowing that people are like open to therapy and open to helping yourself first step to recovery feeling better like getting over any feelings that are holding you back is believing that you are truly worthy and deserving of so much happiness i love you all so much thank you so much for better help it always means the world anyway on with the video this is leading on from the fact that i feel like i've met so many more of you guys recently i feel like since i've been posting again we've been more connected and multiple times that I have met you girls you've all said like which is so sweet as well and I also I never like I don't know I basically feel weird because it's like I don't feel like I'm doing anything revolutionary but so many of you are so kind and you say oh you've helped me so much or you've helped me so much with this by talking openly about things and that I on, I cannot explain just how kind that is and you know it's an amazing feeling so some insights and wisdom when i was getting dressed today when i used to go on holidays and stuff i would still be so sort of oh about like what i was eating or i'd be really anxious about coming back home and having gained a bit of weight from holiday i put on my clothes today i got dressed today i got back on friday it's now monday i've been eating good still over the weekend like eating a lot and my clothes fit the exact same as they did before i went away on holiday i feel like we get it so in our heads that even just one day or one meal or eating something different is just gonna completely throw everything off track it is absolutely not like I have the healthiest, most like abundant lifestyle now. And when I was on my trip with Lewis, I was actually on my period. So I was eating like double of everything. And I still woke up in the mornings and still put a bikini on and still wore the clothes that I wanted to wear without even double taking it. I just want to give the encouragement to someone who maybe finds himself in that thought pattern as well of go away, eat whatever the fuck you want because you're going to come home and nothing nothing i promise you is going to have changed a lot of the time you think that you've like gained holiday weight which weight gain in itself like should never be connotated as a bad thing most of the time it's literally just water weight because you're eating a lot of salty food and probably drinking a lot more sorry i just went on some huge big tangent but just wanted to share that with you semi skim milk ice latte from gales gales and joe and the juice coffee i think are probably some of my favorite i'm waiting back for an email so I can nip to the post office before I go on my day out. I've actually been sat in the flat for a further two hours than like since when I first spoke to you this morning. Give me like a couple weeks and the vlogs are gonna be so exciting because as I keep saying, there's something big coming. I've also got loads of white, thick, creamy bits in my coffee which is kind of throwing me off, but this cost me five quid and I'm gonna drink it even if it gives me. <laughs> I've got the most important document of my life in like a fucking pink bag just waiting to be written on once i've got this email through i'm just gonna write out the address on the table go post it and then we'll go have some fun Hi. uber for beatrice thank you yes please thank you guys i'm in chelsea i got the go ahead with the address so i'm on my way to the post office i'm in sloan square area and honestly i'm feeling a little bit strange because i don't actually have anything to do i mean i've got an event tomorrow night which i quite like to get a new dress for i want like a sort of long 
floor length black dress i never used to be a long dress kind of girl i always thought they made me look shorter but i actually kind of think they do the opposite so beautiful every time i walk around london it just reminds me of why i never want to leave i'm in the king's road zara now trying to find a dress for tomorrow night so far no luck like everything's a little bit boring i kind of want to say but then i am looking for something classic i do think though these shoes are going to be coming home with me they are so gorgeous and if you guys know i've said this for years but zara heels are the comfiest heels i never experienced any blister i ventured out and bought a pair from topshop on asos and my feet are still massacred i am back home back with the baby sorry if you can hear sheep noises although i made the conscious decision to not turn it off because it's like birds tweeting and I don't know, maybe that adds a nice ambience. It is so windy out there. I don't know if you can hear that. Quite honestly, not the most successful shopping trip, but I did get a couple bits. One of them is pretty rogue, and it could either be one of the best things I've ever bought, and I get so much wear out of it, or I'm gonna put this on and be like, what the fuck were you thinking? I got this shirt in Zara. And it was like a one-off, like someone had put it down, which probably should be an indication I should have left it. But I just feel like I'm not that brave. And if I saw this on a girl, I'd be like, oh my god, that's so cute. With like a scarf, I feel like people are going to look at me and just think, you look like a Victorian school child. I got this. And it's got like that on it. And it's got a sort of... <laughs> but I think even with this skirt like a little black skirt and some loafers or little mary jane shoes and frilly socks even in winter just with a big bomber like a big coat over it even the one i wore today we'll try it out we'll try it out i also got some shoes for my event tomorrow night no shoes on the table does anyone else mum instill that into their brain do not put new shoes on the table i don't know what will happen but i'm not here to find out got these ones from zara i'm pretty sure i showed you in the shop they only had a size six and i'm a size seven but I'm sure I can squeeze my feet into them. If not, I'll literally just cut these off. I then went into M&S, which is exciting. It is. I got some basil, iceberg lettuce, a couple of avocados. I just eat so much avocado every day. I need loads in the fridge. I got some French grains, and I also got these Spanish ones. I love these. I eat these so much. And they're just really easy to throw in a salad because... They already taste good. You don't really have to season them. A cucumber, some mozzarella, which was at the bottom of the bag. So I'm hoping that's not massacred. Tuna, because I eat an unhealthy amount of tuna. And people on my Instagram stories say to me, girl, don't eat too much tuna. Your mercury levels will go all skew if. Pick your poison. I could be doing and consuming a lot worse things. I did actually get quite unwell because I consumed so much. And I used to, oh, the smell of tuna used to send me into a coma. Like if my mum or my sister were eating it when I was growing up. Ugh. But just like every other chronically online girl out there, tuna cardos really turn that around for me. And I now eat it every single day. Some tomatoes. And as I said, another avocado. I'm actually going to make some lunch. It's so late in the day. I should have eaten whilst I was out. But it was a little overstimulating today. I feel like with the heat and the humidity, but also the wind and like this big bag of stuff. I also just wanted to get home for Ida. Like obviously she's only just come back and she likes to be around mum. So I just thought I'd come home and eat. I was going to stop into Otto Lenghi. If you're in London, there's a few of them around but they do the best salads and the best fish and everything is so good i actually bought myself a cookbook but it's like two days to prepare an aubergine i mean i have the time but i will be spending it doing different things i also picked up a little something for myself it was literally three pounds but holding this in the palm of my hand i feel like i can tell you everything that's going on now and share my secrets because be warned fuck off like this is a fuck off to people who don't want the best for me. I sent off the paperwork for my house today. That's right, I bought one. Well, mm, I have. Well, I've, mm, I don't know. It's like, basically got one. This has been a few months in the working and I've signed the dotted line. There's just like a couple more things I need to do and it's mine. And I should hopefully be moving in literally within like, couple weeks maximum i mean it's all happened i say really quickly i don't really know the average time of buying a house but a lot of the stress is sort of subsiding now that the end is in sight and i can't wait to show it to you all you on youtube are going to be the first people to see it the tour and everything like that so make sure you're subscribed to me over here i can't believe i'm saying it out loud 
this is gonna be hanging in the background for the rest of every single clip. Lunch! Oh! If you've ever seen a bitch who needs that TikTok volcanic rock thing, it's me. I've got leftover salad from a salad I made last night and then leftover tuna from the tuna thing I made this morning. There's an itch I need to scratch. Oh, I also get so scared because I can see everything the people in the building next to me do so they can see everything I do which means they can see my nipples right now. I got an itch to scratch with this shirt. I literally cannot wait it any longer. I need it on my body and I need to see if it looks good. Oh, I didn't undo the button in my head. Ida, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? <sighs> oh, can you see my nipples? Sorry, it's a bit chilly in here. All the time, I'm grateful all the fucking time. Can you believe that I used to get solos in the choir? Yeah, you fucking can. I am not joking when I said those Topshop heels ate my feet alive. Look. At that, are you joking me? Ooh, okay, the shoes actually kind of fit. They are right on my wounds. <laughs> I need, to, ooh, I need to actually look in a mirror. I fucking ate. This is so cute. This shirt. I'm not fuming with the heels with it either. It needs just plain pointed toe heels. I saw a pair in there and I'm really annoyed I didn't get them, but I'm pretty sure they were shiny anyway and I'm not a huge patent fan. But oh my gosh, this shirt, I literally love. I kind of want to wear this tomorrow night. There's one thing you should know about me is that I love lying down, especially when it's in warm, warm, bubbly water. I'm gonna run myself a bubble bath, although I don't actually have any bubble bath. But I do have this Poetic Mind Hands and Body Wash, and you know what, it's gonna do the job. If you wanna see me get naked, my plans for this evening is just a bath, get back into my pajamas, make some dinner, watch a film, and then get on with editing this vlog so I can get it up in real time. I was gonna do like a trying on outfits for tomorrow night, but I'm all oily and my hair's all dropped out, and I know I'm just not gonna like anything I put on. So I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Maybe I'll make a TikTok or something out of it. But if you wanna see what outfit I'm wearing, I'm making this out like I'm going to the fucking Met. I'm really not. Then follow me on my Instagram, because I'll probably have some pics or stories and stuff like that. I also did a campaign for Paco Rabanne recently, and their makeup line they launched. And they sent me this perfume, and it's so, oh, and I'm not supposed to do that. It's a very sweet, but kind of musky, sexy perfume. I'm not sure of the name of it, what's it called? This is Fame, the bottle's pretty fun as well. We're in the market for a new perfume. Pretty nice. I think it's time we address the elephant, or should I say the fuck ass bob in the room. May have had an impulse decision and cut myself a bob. Three, two, one, reveal. Prank chat. Although I feel like this is something that needs to be addressed because oh my gosh, I was not expecting this Bob Instagram post to cause so much chaos in my life. This is my current skincare routine for anyone who's interested. Skin of me. I will see if my voucher code is still available for this, but I've been using this every single day since I got it and I still swear by it. I am fresh over period, so my skin is not as great as it usually is. I feel like I'm always filming when I'm on my period, but how wonderful that I'm getting them now. When I was in France with Louis, Tom, and Annie, Annie is Tom and Louis's friend, by the way. And now one of my friends as well, how wonderful. I can't even remember where it stemmed from. I think we saw this mannequin with like this really aggressive bob. It just sent us into orbit. So I asked Tom to take a picture of me and face up a fuck ass bob onto myself. I was stone cold sober when I posted it, but you know when you're so hungover, we have been drinking for like three or four days straight by this point. I was so delirious and I posted it on my Instagram just because I thought it was really funny. Anyway, that post got over 50,000 likes in like three days. Thanks a lot, where's the other reciprocation on my other post? So we decided to keep it up just because we thought it was really funny. So every single story of me that was being posted from then on, the fuck ass Bob was in it. Lewis's group chats of like his friends who know me, but like kind of don't know me, you know what I mean? Mutuals, I guess, were going crazy being like, is 
It was just so funny. We were giggling so much. Even Lewis's parents were in on it. Like no one was posting a picture of me without this bob. And fast forward a couple of days, I posted a video that like obviously the bob, you know, isn't real. Most of you guys knew that anyway. That post gets reported for bullying and harassment. And my Instagram got disabled for two days and I've now had a paid partnership tool turned off on my Instagram. So the fuck ass bob has essentially ruined my Instagram career, but... Yeah, no, it's actually really not good. I should probably get a contact at Instagram for that. I think a few of my friends were very concerned and I even got a few sincere like, oh my God, it looks so good. coma every time we won't have to be dealing with it for much longer it feels like only a few hours ago that i ate my lunch but we're gonna make dinner because three meals a day really does keep the doctor away i cannot t tell you i know it's like something so obvious but for my girls like slightly depressive girlies oh my God. make time invest in what you're eating because oh my gosh i am a completely different person since i started eating good and i'm gonna show you how to make one of my favorite dinners tonight. I've got one salmon fillet left in my fridge. I'm gonna season that with some garlic, some olive oil, salt, pepper, chili flakes, nothing crazy. <coughs> ah! Can I marinate it just in the thing? I don't know. I'm gonna preheat my oven because I always hate myself when it actually comes around to cooking and the oven is cold. I keep wanting to talk really openly about the house and you know what's inside of it and all this stuff but there are some things that need to be kept a surprise or else you're all going to be bored of it by the time i get there i put my garlic in the garlic masher thing i've just got one clove huge guns <laughs> i don't feel like i either dislocate something like oh it's gone everywhere i was cooking dinner last night and i dropped my entire salmon thing on the floor. I'll insert a picture here. What is your favorite fish? I feel like I'm trying to make conversation on the first day. I've overshared so much in this video. You've quite honestly got everything out of me. I love how the pivotal turning point of me telling you everything that I've been keeping in for the last four months was a three pound evil eye I bought on Belgravia High Street. There's a lot about girl logic. Some spray olive oil, which this isn't the skinny bitch. Fry light olive oil. This is real. Big titties olive oil. Just in a spray bottle. I'm gonna spray that on. No slander to the fry light. I used to be victim to it. Salt and pepper. This pepper as well. Jamie babe, love you, but fuck all comes out of this. I am seconds away from getting garlic poisoning the amount of garlic that i've eaten in the last 48 hours a little bit of chili really massage your fish oh, <laughs> oh my god what's wrong with me that's actually not that's not even funny grow up <laughs> Get it all tender, juicy. <laughs> so my, <laughs> it's not funny. Oh, I need to, I need to see people more. Really get the flavour in there. Little garlic fish. Anyone watch Michael Finch's cooking videos these days? Because I'm, so... hello. I am so obsessed with them. Wait, hold on. Let me just open the door. He might need a wee. She is so toilet trained now. It's honestly very impressive. I'm gonna move this salmon onto a baking tray. I'm gonna cut up a little bit of halloumi and then just rub it around in the excess seasoning. Uh, is this gonna make it taste fishy? Oh, fishy. Wash your hands in between touching fish. 
There's no fish on the board, by the way. Don't tell me off. That's going to go into the oven for 17 minutes. Ah. Oh. Just got bad news. Anyway, I bought this salad today because it was cheap. So I'm gonna whack some of this iceberg lettuce into a big old mixing bowl. I need a lot of salad. I like to really bulk up on my greens. I think it really does bits to your energy level. And I've bought so much, it looks like I'm gonna be eating salads for the rest of my life. I'm gonna dice up a red onion, half of an avocado, some cucumber, but remove the middle bit of the cucumber. You don't want it to be like sloppy on the leaves, if that makes sense. A bit of basil, some tomatoes, and I'll show you once that's all mixed together. And I also go in with some scissors and like massacre the lettuce so it's a chopped salad and you can shovel it in quicker. Mustn't forget to feed my lady. She loves the inside bit of a cucumber. It's a very healthy evening snack there, Ida. We're not gonna drop the salmon this time. There she goes. I mean, it's not the prettiest looking thing because I added these lentils, which give it a slight poo-like color. And the blue light, the fucking blue light. But I promise you, I've made this for many a people. Mm. And it slaps so garlicky. One for the garlic girls. If I were to ever get a tattoo, it would either be left and right or my left and right hands because I'm so dyspraxic, I just, I can't. Or a garlic loaf. Right there, right on the heart. This is one of my favorite kombucha flavors. So I have a kombucha with dinners because it helps your digestive system. I can see that Ida's eaten all her dinner. Good girl, all fueled up for tomorrow. Mmm. Three, two, one. I can't click. Fuck. Okay, gonna have to do a different transition. Three, two, one. I don't think I've ever done this in my life. I'm so full. I'm not finishing my dinner. And that's okay. That shows a sign of some good, good, good eating today. I've got some salad left over in the fridge, so I, I can always come back to it if I do get hungry. But for now, I think I'm going to go watch some of My Mum, Your Dad, because my wonderful friend Tia Zanatti and her mum are actually on it. So that's very exciting. I've also been watching, I wanna call her my friend, but I don't think I can call her my friend because I've only met her once, but in my head, she's my friend. This girl, Maddie PLT. You guys, you probably all follow her on TikTok. She's like a TikTok queen. I met her a little while ago at the weekend concert, which was so fun and she was so lovely and I've just been obsessed with her ever since. And I love watching everything she does. She's so beautiful and so French and I'd love to be French, but I'm not. I'm fucking British. And that's pretty much my evening. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on my nice day of aloneness. Like, what a lovely day. I've literally had the best time ever. I'm gonna settle down on my sofa and get my laptop out with Beanie, probably fall asleep and then climb into bed half asleep. I love you all so much. Let me know if you do any of these things and spend an alone day or this has inspired you. Don't forget to check out Better Help. I'm gonna have them in the description box down below. I love you all so much and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.